Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. In this video, we will perform the outer bridge limit specifically on the standard test methods for liquid limit, plastic limit, and plasticity index of soils. I am Engineer Angel Vance R. Camarillo. I am Engineer Vincent Anthony J. Caballo. I am Engineer John Kenneth Lim. I am Engineer Philip Dusegan S. Malik. I am Engineer Raymark S. Pauyon. And the objective is at the end of the experiment, students will be able to determine the liquid limit, plastic limit, and plasticity index of soils as per ASTM D4318. The first test that we will be conducting is the liquid limit. It is the water content and percent of the soil at the arbitrarily defined boundary between the semi-liquid and plastic states. We have the following apparatus and materials to start our experiment. 300 grams dry soil Sieve number 40 Weighing scale Stainless bowl or evaporating dish Stove Pan Spoon or spatula Water and spray Petri dishes and mechanical liquid limit device with grooving tools. Here are the following procedures in the experiment. Step 1. Dry the soil using air dryer cook the soil using a pan and stove. Step 2. Provide a sufficient sample material or dry soil passing through a sieve number 40 to produce fine dry soil. Step 3. Weigh 300 grams of dry soil to be used as a sample. Step 4. Weigh 40 grams of dry soil, put it in evaporating dish and wet the dry soil with water using a portable water sprayer. Step 5. Mix the dry soil using a stainless spoon with a sprayed water to ensure that the soil is wet. Step 6. After the mixing process, put the wet soil into the Casa Grande cup. Step 7. Make a line to divide the soil in the center using a grooving tool. Step 8. Put the Casa Grande cup on the mechanical liquid limit device and count the number of blows. It should not exceed 30 blows. Repeat steps 4 to 8 for 4 times. One sample should have around 10 to 15 blows. Another one should have 16 to 20 blows. The next should have 21 to 25 blows. And the last sample should have 26 to 30 blows. Step 9. Put the four samples on the Petri dishes and weigh them. Step 10. Weigh the containers alone. Step 11. After weighing the wet samples, dry again using air dry or cook it on the pan and stove. And lastly, weigh the dried samples to determine the moisture content. Now, we have to solve the liquid limit using the gathered data. 
we have already gathered the value of the masses of four tests with its three samples. First, we have to get the mass of the water. We have to subtract the mass of dry soil plus container from the mass of wet soil plus container. Second, we have to get the mass of dry soil. We have to subtract the mass of the container from the mass of dry soil plus container. Next, for its moisture content, we have to divide the mass of water over the mass of dry soil and multiply by 100%. After getting the moisture content of each sample, we get the average of every test by adding the 3 moisture content divided by 3. Lastly, we already have its average moisture content. So to solve the liquid limit, we have to use mode 3 and then 4 in the calculator. By substitution, we let A as the average moisture content of test 1, B for test 2, and so on. Using mode 3 and then 4, liquid limit is just equal to 25 y hat. So, liquid limit is equal to 37.7704. The second experiment will be plastic limit. It is the water content in percent of a soil at the boundary between the plastic and semi-solid states. Here are the following materials. Dry soil, petri dish, water and spray, stainless bowl, spoon, weighing scale, pan, and stove. Here are the following procedures in the experiment. Step 1. Put the right amount of fine dry soil in a dish. Wet the dry soil using a portable water sprayer for about 24 sprays. Step 2. Mix the dry soil in the sprayed water in a container. Step 3. Roll the wet soil between the palm or fingers using the hand method. Step 4. Make or form a long thread about 3 mm diameter thick with the right amount of pressure. Step 5. Weigh the wet shattered soil. Step 6. After weighing the wet soil, dry the soil using air dryer or cook it in a hot pan. Step 7. After drying the soil, weigh the dry soil again. Step 8. Remove the dry soil from the container. And lastly, weigh the used container. Now, we have to solve the plastic limit using the gather data. First, we have to get the mass of the water. Subtract the mass of dry soil plus container from the mass of wet soil plus container. Second, we have to get the mass of dry soil. Subtract the mass of the container from the mass of dry soil plus container. Lastly, for its moisture content, we have to divide the mass of water over the mass of dry soil and multiply by 100%. It will result to 
The next experiment will be about the natural water content, also called the natural moisture content. It is the ratio of the weight of the water to the weight of the solids in a given mass of soil. Here are the following materials. 200 grams natural moist soil, petri dishes, weighing scale, pan and stove, spoon or spatula. Here are the following procedures. Step 1. Get the right amount of natural moist soil. Weigh about 200 grams of soil. Step 2. Get 3 petri dishes for the 3 soil samples. Step 3. Weigh the moist soil of the 3 samples. Step 4. Record the mass of the moist soil. Step 5. Dry the moist soil using the hot pan and spoon. Step 6. Weigh the dry soil. Step 7. Record the mass of the dry soil. Step 8. Remove the dry soil. Lastly, weigh the container and record the mass of it. Let us now solve the natural water content using the gathered data. We have already gathered the value of masses and we have the three samples. First, we have to get the mass of the water. Subtract the mass of dry soil plus container from the mass of wet soil plus container. Second, we have to get the mass of dry soil. Subtract the mass of the container from the mass of dry soil plus container. Next, for its moisture content, we have to divide the mass of water over the mass of dry soil and multiply by 100%. After getting the moisture content of each sample, we have to get the average of the test. By adding the 3 moisture content divided by 3, we use the substitution in the calculator. A for the moisture content of sample 1, B for sample 2, and C for sample 3. Therefore, the moisture content of the soil is 45.0552 Let us solve now for the liquidity, plasticity, and consistency indices. For the liquidity index, we have the formula moisture content minus plastic limit divided by liquid limit minus plastic limit. We let liquid limit as A and the value is 37.7704. We let moisture content as B in the calculator and the value is 45.0552. The plastic limit is C in the calculator and the value is 35.4430. We have to use the formula MC minus PL over LL minus PL. Therefore, the liquidity index is 4.1301. For the plasticity index, to get the values, we should directly substitute values from the formula given, which is plasticity index is equals to liquid limit minus plastic limit. We let the liquid limit is equals to A and plastic limit is equals to C. Therefore, we can finally get the result of the plasticity index by using the formula. Plasticity index is equals to A minus C using the scientific calculator. Lastly, by pressing the equals, you can now have the plasticity index, which is 2.3274. 
For the consistency index, we have the formula liquid limit minus moisture content over liquid limit minus the plasticity index. We let the PI as D in the calculator. Substitute the liquid limit to A, moisture content to B, and the value of the consistency index is equals to negative 0.2055. As we observe from the results, we calculated the difference between liquid limit and plastic limit. The plasticity index indicates that the soil is slightly plastic as the value of PI is equals to 2.3274 and it belongs to PI 1 to 5. And we have also calculated the value of the liquid T index from its formula, the difference of moisture content and plastic limit divided by the difference of liquid limit and plastic limit. Li is equals to 4.1301. Therefore, the liquidity index indicates that the soil is in liquid state because it is greater than 1. The soil has low strength and deforms like a viscous liquid. As the soil is in liquid state, we can conclude that the degree of firmness of the soil is soft because the water content is high in liquid state. And that's it for the ASTM D4318 Standard Test Methods for Liquid Limit, Plastic Limit, and Plasticity Index of Soils. We hope that you have learned something from our laboratory experiment. See you in our next episode. Bye!